Hey Zenith and guys, um, I'm going to do this video for you Zenith uh, and try to answer some questions. My problem is it's very hard to answer questions uh, when it involves different sized terrariums and Sparky has a very large terrarium and it's very difficult in the fall and winter uh, to have the warm spots and a lot of times Sparky when he sees me plug in a heat source in another spot he'll come running and sit under it. Uh, so um, right now he is sitting up on top of his log and I just wanted to mention this is a Habitat log and it's made out of wood and I would not recommend anybody getting the artificial kinds of logs because I've had issues with Sparky catching his foot on a log that's artificial. And even with the wood ones, um, he has, uh, so I have covered up the other one. He hasn't had any, seemed to have any trouble with this one catching his toe. Um, so the issue that makes it so very, very tough for me to go over uh, how to heat a terrarium um, because it's been so long since I've had a really small 18 by 38 inch terrarium to know that it was a nightmare to try to have a cool in and warm in because it's just too small. So I'm going to start with this one here and this is a 60 watt emitter. This is what the emitters look like. There's no light. This is what I use in the day, in the fall and winter, and at night in certain areas because Sparky's substrate really does get cold because it's such a large one. Uh, so the funny thing about these emitters, now even though I use 60 watt, this one here seems to put out a lot more heat. So you really have to regulate that and you have to move the fixture up and down and I use the shower hooks, uh, these type of shower hooks. I'm gonna pan out here. Uh, and then you can take and drop them down. And I moved these up this morning uh, and Sparky was letting me know he was too warm and he wanted out. So I did let him out today for a while. And then I turned off the heat and it did warm up outside and in the sunroom. So when you have a turtle in um, a sunroom like this, it, you have to really work at it to keep the temperature right. And I did say also that um, you don't want to have the terrarium right up against an outside wall or outside window because it can be quite cold and you don't want to have the terrarium right next to a heater or air conditioning because it's just too hard to regulate uh, any kind of um, proper temperature. Uh, so this is how far Sparky's habitat is from the outside wall on this corner, this, this end. But the rest of his terrarium is uh, toward an inside wall over there. That's an inside wall. Um, so this is what I was talking about that you want to be very careful. There, supposedly these can be used at uh, night, these red lights. But Sparky, it seems to be annoying to him. It's supposed to be a, a light where you can see your uh, reptile uh, at night and it's not supposed to bother him. Well, this is, I think, a 100 watt. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's a 100 watt. And, and it really, really gets warm. I only use it on occasion during the day when it's really, really cold and I want to take and warm up a, a, a corner of the habitat, but I don't leave it on any length of time. And, you know, I also said, like, when you feel the substrate, you can get an idea just by feeling. Uh, now, this, this is cool. There's no heat on this end at all. Uh, and I have turned off most all the heat today. And see, I have all of these different lights and different uh, emitters, um, 60 watt emitters, 
and uh, most of them are 60 watt and I don't have all these on at one time I might have three you know I might have just have them on the far side and then Sparky on the, the front side will be cool. So I change around, and that's why there's so many, um, but I don't use them all at one time. And here again, this is another emitter, 60 watt. Um, and this one's an emitter. This one, it seems, even though it says 60 watt, this is another one that seems to get uh, more warm. So I think as time goes by, they, they lose their efficiency to a certain degree and they don't put out as much heat. Um, so, um, then, oh, I know what I wanted to also cover. Um, Zenith, you ask about lighting and all, and uh, this is what we use as far as a UVA, UVB um, fluorescent bulb. Uh, so I was going to put another new one uh, up um, in Sparky's terrarium, but the new bulb would not work, and so I don't know if it's the bulb or whether it is the fixture. So here is... The slim line fixture that these UVA UVB lighting goes into. You want to make sure to take and not use that plastic cover because if you use the plastic cover the UVA UVB won't go through and these are very tricky to put in and they have these little areas here where you take them in and out you have to turn the bulb and there's little prongs and then when you put the new in you have to push it in and turn it and make sure that it has that it's seated in there um so i'll just say show you what all sparky wasted today he had uh grass-fed chicken yam uh fruit that was frozen fruit that I thawed from the garden. And I just put him a little romaine in there. I didn't put him the greens because he just hates greens. So I thought I'd give him a break today. But I don't know. I mean, I I only saw him take one bite of yam. So there it sits. So this is what I go through. And this is just the way it, the way it is trying to get a turtle to eat that really wants something other than what I've provided. So, Zenith, I hope this answers your questions about uh, light. Um, again, these red lights for night, they're okay during the day. Uh, you can uh, substitute uh, a um, 60 watt bulb for lighting during the day um, over here this is another one that you really have to watch this is a I believe it's a hundred watt basking bulb and if you use something like this you want a tree stand here's a tree stand you want to be able to bring that up high enough away from the substrate that you get the substrate warm but not hot and I'm going to go get the temp gun and I'm going to see and see right now I've only got one heat source on it's 78 in the room and it and Sparky's comfortable he's hanging out so I haven't put him any uh, I've only got him one area of basking and that is right here I do have this heat on. That's the only heat that I have, 60 watt emitter. Um, but you want to make sure not to have any lights on at night. Uh, so I am going to go get the temp gun. Okay, this temp gun, it is invaluable. Well, Sparky's going to get riled up here. I'm going to shoot it on this basking rock. And it says 88. Now I know 88 seems scary high temperature, but that's barely warm guys. I mean barely, barely warm. Uh, so with having a very large terrarium, you can get away with a little higher heat 
and Sparky needs his, he's been in and out of his water dish. I will give you a shot on what the temperature of the water dish is. Uh, 72.8, that, that's just perfect. Um, you know, anywhere from around low 70s is really good for the water dish. You don't want it to get too warm. Um, so I'm going to shoot it over here on this rock. Okay, it's 75.6. So now I'm going to go down to the substrate, which really looks like dirt, even though this is eco earth. Now there you go, 70.7. .7. So the substrate, and then you just feel it to get an idea, what is 70.7? .7? and how does it feel and that's 70.7 .7. it feels very cool it doesn't feel cold and clammy but it feels cool so that's fine for your turtle um you know but see now sparky's getting riled up he's really giving me the evil eye like what are, what what is she doing um you know any little thing that i do in his substrate he just he just wants to know what's going on. He's got to. He's got to see. So, uh, well, Zena, that's about all I can come up with. Uh, I just really am not going to be very helpful on how many um, emitters and, and all of that because it totally depends on um, the room temperature. Um, and a lot of different factors, the size of the uh, terrarium and all. Great big uh, terrarium like Sparky's, I think this is like a three foot by eight foot. Um, it, it can get pretty cold and clammy. I have to work with it and, and get areas. In fact, I'm gonna have to get him some heat on where he can have some a little more basking areas because there's no heat on right now. So it's, like I say, it's 70 in some areas, 75 in, in others. So I'm going to bring up the substrate temperature so he can be, a, you know, he can pick and choose some of his spots. Um, so the nighttime temperature, um, you mentioned like 58. Uh, I would say that you would definitely want to have a, a heat source, say a 60 watt emitter over in one corner of the terrarium uh, to um, have a little warm spot during the night. If your turtle gets too cold, then it can go to that spot and warm up uh, because, you know, they're cold blooded and they're dependent on having some heat. But um, I've heard turtlers say like 60 degrees is okay uh, for them at night. I, I guess I baby Sparky too much because we have the room temperature 68. Um, so this is going to be a very, very long video. So I hope I helped. Um, and that's it. See you then, guys.